Oh, you guys again. Hey, welcome back. Hey, Josh, I think they want to know about another cool Colorado town. Oh, yeah. What about, uh, what about Pine, Colorado? If you want to learn everything you need to know about this cute little mountain town right between, like, Bailey and Conifer on your way to, like, Deckers and West Creek, a lot of cool historical value and a lot of little fun activities, and it's freaking gorgeous out there. So, you want to get into Pine here? Yeah, let's talk about Pine, Colorado. Let's do it, y'all. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Sean Murphy and this is Josh O'Shea. <laughs> we are the men of Moxie, the mountain men of Moxie. We love giving you guys information on the perfect place, different towns, list videos, stuff like that. And so if you're into that and you want to stay up to date on the latest videos that we put out, do us a favor and hit subscribe and then hit that like button and the, like button. the bell and the bell and you'll be notified each time we put up that new hotness but let's get into pine let's first tell you where the hell is pine because a lot of people just drive by it maybe stop into the gas station at pine junction to grab some snacks fuel up um, but there's a lot more to it and there's a lot of historic value once you like you go a little bit south and, and dive on into it so are you ready to dive on into it i'm ready let's do it sean okay first off Tell them where it's at. Okay, so Pine, Colorado is just between Conifer and Bailey, Colorado. It is this small section that actually goes south to north that is just tiny little town sitting here, and you might not even think you're in Pine because you've gone right through east to west. Yeah, and so most people know like the, the Pine Junction area. There's a couple restaurants there, like Crossroads. We like to go to the Crossroads yeah, there. Yeah, Golden Pine, good Chinese food there. It is very small in comparison to most towns here in Colorado. But a, a really cool day drive if you want to go through it. So you're about 10 minutes from Conifer. I mean, 10 minutes to the start of Bailey, a little bit further if you want to get like Bailey, Bailey. A fun little day trip if you want to drive through. And especially once you get down into like the canyony part of Pine, uh, really gorgeous rock form it's history class right now. Are you ready? So. <laughs> We're going to the past. <laughs> Back in the day, Pine, Colorado was originally started as a mining town and a timber town. But what really saved Pine, Colorado was railroad tourism. You're probably asking, what's railroad tourism? What's railroad tourism? Sean, let me tell you. <laughs> so back in the early 1900s, Railroad tourism was an activity that they made narrow gauge railroads from Denver through the mountains so that city folk could get that outdoor adventure. They would hop on the train with their family and go up the South Platte River and get that Colorado experience while living in luxury hotels out there. It sounds crazy, but that's what they did back in the day. Yeah, and check out some of these pictures. You see the, the gals in the big dresses. And I can only imagine how friggin' hot it was at some of those times, but just the way they did it. And some of these houses that you'll see, some of these buildings that are in Pine, they are from the early 1900s. And you just, you look at them, you're like, damn, that's how they used to do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. People that lived in Pine back in the day, that was roughing it, mountain living. It's wild. So there's really two ways to get into Pine, but you could just do a little loop. You could come in through from 285 is, is the way that most people are gonna do it. Elk Creek and then just bust a left back north onto Pine Valley Road that'll take you through the canyon. There's a couple places to, well, when I say a couple, there's like a couple places to stop along the way, but there are a bunch of other activities and things to do. The best part about Pine is it is so scenic. It is calling your hiking and horseback riding activities. Mm -hmm. It is telling you, hey, do you want to come mountain bike where no one else is? Mm -hmm. That's the place to go. Pine, Colorado is gorgeous. And fishing. So fishing oh, on yeah. the, the plat, I think that's the big draw for like Pine, Deckers, West Creek, just all along that South Platte River is some of the, the best fishing in the state probably. Yeah, at the mouth of Deckers and South Platte when they combine there, it is 
the best fly fishing I've done here in Colorado. Oh, for, you said you weren't going to say this. Uh, yeah, I know. I got to let people <laughs> know about it a little bit, though. Right. It yeah. is amazing fly fishing right there. And it's public access, so, you know, there's no restrictions for you to go out there and just go fish. And this is an area, too, that you're not going to find a whole lot of HOAs. I call this sometimes the mailbox street ends, where you'll just see a street end with, like, eight mailboxes, and that's just, like, there's eight houses up that road, but there's nothing else. And there's uh, not too many restrictions on, like, Airbnbs or anything like that. You know, I'd say a good amount of people aren't living there full time, but it's a great place if you're looking for like a summer getaway while still being relatively close to Denver. Still probably about an hour, depending on how far you are into to Pine, right? Yeah. Yeah, if you're right there on the 285 stretch, you might be looking 35, maybe 40 minutes downtown Denver, but the rest of Pine going down uh, Elk Creek there and then Pine Valley Road, those could take you a little bit to get back out because they are the only access in and out from right there. But the best part about having that is you get large lots out there. So a lot of people going up Pine Valley Road, they have horses, they have alpaca, they have some sort of ag out there. And so that gives you a lot more you know, freedom to do whatever you like with the land. It's just a perfect spot here in Colorado to give you the most access to do whatever you really want. Uh, some things to know about living in Pine, if you're down in the canyon -y area, you might get a quick glimpse of the sun. And I'd say it's a little bit more extreme out there because in some of those parts, it's a whole lot of rock around you and cliffs. And so the rock's not gonna hold any heat and you're down there by the river. And so when it's cold, she gonna be cold. It's good. Um, when it's hot, it could get real hot real quick. But when the sun is just like coming through the canyon, you know, when it's coming up or coming down, it's absolutely gorgeous to drive through. And you have to, you have to drive slow. We're not gonna talk too much about the housing in Pine. Josh mentioned a lot of like ag out there, a lot of livestock, a lot of horseback riding, but it is super eclectic with the types of homes and properties that you're gonna have out there. And so if you are interested in, in looking at Pine specifically, that's why you gotta give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, a lot of different levels of experience to be had in Pine, and we'll help you find the one that's just most appropriate to what you're looking to do, but you gotta give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, anything like that. Another fun activity is a very popular rock climbing area. I have a buddy that has a cabin down there and he's like, people are always climbing the rocks around him. So if you like to get after it and you know do a day trip, you do some serious rock climbing, check out Pine. Also, if you're planning on living there full time, this is one of the areas that you definitely wanna check out the Wi-Fi before you get into there. Cause again, like the canyon walls can block your exposure to the skyline where you need to get that satellite pointed. Also, I always lose service as I'm going through Pine and Verizon typically does very well up in, up in the mountains, but not Pine. So if you are making that drive, that cruise, save yourself some good Colorado music. A little Hank Williams, a little John Denver. Other thing I like about like Pine, Pine and we got a, a video coming up on Bailey. This is where I really feel like the vibe of the people starts to change a little bit where nobody's getting dressed up to go out. It is very come as you are. If you go to Crossroads, like people are, people are gonna wear what they wore to work that day and, and what they've been wearing all day. Uh, nobody's getting fancy schmancy jeans and boots and hats and, and that type of vibe. Some people are even just coming in sweatpants. Yeah. Just enjoying their life. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z button up, whatever, <laughs> yeah, whatever, you're, whatever you're into, it's uh, you'll you'll be well accepted at Pine. So the nice thing about living in Pine is even if you need to just grab, you know, something, a quick bite to eat. Oh, you realize you're out of dog food. Pine Junction right there has kind of a little bit of everything for you. Mm -hmm. So they have you know restaurants, food truck. They've got you know fish and tackle right there. They've got the pet supply and feed store. They even have a vape geek if you're looking for you know e-cigarettes or anything like that. You can pick up a bunch of your everyday needs right there in Pine Junction. If you're like, hey, I need just a little bit more, 10 minutes to Bailey has a bunch of other shops, restaurants, gas stations, even automotive stuff that you need done. Or you go 10 minutes to Conifer and you're in Aspen Park and that is, you know, a huge amount of extra, you know, larger grocery stores, much larger restaurants. You can still get that good, almost city feel just going 10 minutes in either direction. And we're gonna be posting a video about Bailey here soon. Coney Island hot dog that was made uh, famous by the South Park episode. This is the historic Aspen Park hot dog. 200 square feet of pure luxury. 
that used to be in conifer aspen park area now moved to bailey they are redoing that i was by that the other day and it's been revamped it's gonna be i think opening like mother's day weekend is the goal i say that to say this there's a place called the buck snort saloon and it, right now it's closed and closed over covid we need somebody to get in there that has some money that loves pine to help open the buck snort one of the best mountain divey bars i've been to near and dear to my heart i don't have the fun funds or the time to do it but one of you guys do so someone out there does <laughs> yeah. have the time yeah so if you like restoring old places and you like the charm of mountain towns, do two things. One, give us a like, but also if you're looking to move up here, uh, give us a call, shoot us a text. If Pine's not the right area for you, maybe it's Conf, maybe it's Evergreen, maybe it's Bailey. We love helping you guys find your somewhere in Colorado, but you gotta give us a call. So that is it. Anything else about Pine? Nope, Pine's dope. Great fishing. Yep, gotta crush it. it on fishing. All right, peace. Let's we'll swim on out of here. Yeah. Well, <laughs> That's upriver. <laughs>